Hey everybody, welcome back to the Analyst Gig Northern. This is the May 2022 update. And this one's just gonna be a pretty quick one. Uh, there hasn't been too much going on layout. Been doing a lot of projects outside and that's kind of eaten into the uh, time I have available for the layout. But um, there's been two areas that I've been working on and we'll take a look at those. Uh, the first one was right here at uh, downtown Mandrake Falls where the old train station uh, is. Now in the last video, I was talking about what I kind of want to do in this area between the station and the viaduct um, over there on uh, this little lot that kind of extends in between here. And I had pondered maybe putting a freight station, like a restored freight station and a restored box car there. It's kind of like a historical society display. Um, and it kind of really didn't like it. I mean, it kind of fit the area, but then again, it it kind of stuck out as well. Uh, the freight station that I had was a kind of like a B&M standard wood station. I do have this brick station over here. Um, while there are um, some prototypical references for that, like the Laconia station in Laconia, New Hampshire, that was a stone station. They had a wooden freight depot there. It just kind of stuck out like a little bit of a sore thumb. Um, so I just really wasn't feeling it. So I've got a couple of other buildings staged here. I've got a little small store, uh, a small, like a small grocery store and a small, like general department store, like a small department store, like a five and dime, something like that. Um, that kind of fits now that I've got it mocked up here, kind of fits the area a little bit better. So we're probably going to be sticking up with that. Um, got the windows in over here on Callahan Auto. Um, now I just need to kind of get this situate, this, uh, building situated a little bit more, get it finally installed, get the roof in there and then start adding all the external details so we can get that all taken care of. Uh, nothing else over in the staging yard and uh, I'll give you a quick overview of how this is looking right now. So here we are back at Mandrake and, uh, get the windows installed in the building here. And then this is that area I was talking about uh, between the Viaduct Bridge and Mandrake Falls Station. Uh, I kind of think it looks a little bit better with these stores here. Maybe even might just reduce it down to one of these stores and kind of pick at that, um, which kind of fits the area a little bit better. Uh, the abutments for the bridge, those have been installed. Now I gotta start finishing up the rest of the building. And then nothing really has been worked on. Uh, don't worry about those people, they're fine. Uh, nothing really has changed over here. Market basket's still missing. I don't know where it went. Must be another Demoulis family's feud. It'll come back at some point in time. And then as you go into Am Amskeg Yard, uh, nothing different. So here we are over at Union Station. Uh, and th this was a project that I had started maybe a few months ago. I just by mocking out kind of how I wanted this building to look. And I've uh, been able to spend a little bit more time on it. So now I have all the panels starting to get fastened together. And then I'll start working on uh, the platforms for the four tracks in here. And uh, as I said before, this is kind of uh, based off of the Springfield Amtrak Union Station in Springfield, Mass. The track arrangement's kind of similar. Um, the Walders kind of fits the bill for it. Uh, so I think it's gonna look really nice when it comes out and it'll be a pretty good replacement for the one over on Mandrake Falls. So I'm getting this, like I said, situated and I need to um, build the rest of the stonework up because this has to be raised up one level uh, from the street level here. So, well, that's it. Really, nothing else has changed. Nothing else really added, like I said. Uh, been working a lot outside. Actually, just picked up this uh, paint shanker from Hobby Mio. I saw that on um, was it Bardo's Rex's channel, and he went through a bunch of different uh, paint shakers, and this one pretty much came out on top. And it was finally back in stock, so I picked that up. It's like thirty bucks shipped. Uh, did really well on his channel, so we'll give that a shot. I'm sure it'll be fine, um, and that will. Pretty much work uh, in junction with my Badger paint mixer. But that's it. We'll see you guys next month 
Hopefully something will have changed by then and I'm not spending too much time out on the new tractor, but we will see you guys next month.